What's up guys, it's your boy Cody here, and today we're going to be bringing you a commentary and uh, an introduction to the Florida Gators offensive scheme. Now this is a very simple scheme to run, it's very easy, but it is, uh, it is really effective. Now here's some quick audibles for you guys uh, that you want to take note of. I have the gun, uh, let's see if I find it here, the gun trips uh, left, so the gun trips open, and the play is called Gambler. And you see we have that wheel rat, it's going to be a great... Uh, a great X factor formation for this offense, something that we can go to, um, you know, to kind of beat everything in and of itself, but can get shut down if you run it too much. That's why it's a little bit of a mini scheme for this offense. Our X audible here is the Frisco from the shotgun type formation. Now, this is going to allow us to use a, a multitude of passing concepts and route combinations to be able to easily beat man coverage so when we usually normally what I like to do is when I get a press coverage read I like to go into this play uh, It's by far one of the most effective passing plays in the game as well as some of the quick audibles of this formation will allow you to really very easily be able to beat man coverage the next play we're going to be going over is the tight mesh as well as the shotgun bunch formation and uh, the tight mesh is, is one of the best plays in the game. I love the crossing patterns. I love you don't really have to hot route anything on this play. Uh, this play is most one of the most effective plays in the game for beating zone coverage uh, because of the dual drags and the uh, f curl concept to the field. And also with some hot routes and some personnel packaging, uh, we'll be able to very easily be able to beat zone coverage. The most favorite formations in the game this season is a t single back or ace slot, or, um, better known as single back doubles in Madden. But uh, levels divide is by far one of my favorite passing concepts in real life and in the game. I love this play. It's very simple to do. It's very simple to run. Uh, hopefully, you guys will appreciate it as much as I do and uh, we'll learn to use this concept we we'll use this in a couple of other offenses that I run also guys this is our uh, main running formation between these two single back formations here uh, we're gonna be able to run the ball right left and down the middle so hopefully you guys are gonna stay tuned for that and then lastly the last play is our quick pass wide receiver screen which is cool because it comes from another set that we can run out of so thank you guys for checking out the audibles let's get into the plays in the next video once again guys I appreciate you checking out this introduction video uh, to run this scheme I have the Florida Gators uh, offense, but many many teams can run this. I think Alabama is be is one of the most slept on teams. Even though they're number one, I don't see anybody using them. They are perfect for this offense because their quarterback is a good pocket passer, and this is an offense where you don't have to have that 95 speed guy. Another good team for this would be a team like Texas A&M. Also, uh, one of my favorite teams, South Carolina, can run this. LSU can run this. You know, a lot of teams can run this. Your basic principle, though, you want three decent receivers, a tight end who can catch the ball, and a running back who can do a lot of things out of the backfield. You're not going to be running the ball a lot. You're usually going to be using your pocket passing and uh, quick passes as your running game. So, be sure to get a running back that can catch the ball, run after run after the catch, and maybe break some tackles down the road. So anyways, guys, thanks for checking out this offensive scheme introduction video. We'll be back tomorrow with the base play breakdown as well as um, the base formation breakdown. So thanks for watching, guys. If, also, real quick, if you guys have any other questions related to NCAA 14, uh, just leave them in the comments below. Also, guys, if you, if you like this video or you like what I'm doing, make sure you hit that like button. Lastly, guys, if you guys are looking for the best tips in NCAA 14, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's going to let you know whenever I post a video on tips and hopefully you guys will be able to use them to better your game and better your knowledge of the game. As Madden 25 draws closer, guys, only a couple more days left in NCAA 14. Be sure to use these to your advantage. Thanks, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.